So I'm out at the range today with my friend R.D. and we're going to do a little bit of testing. Everything was fine until he likes all the tactical gear and stuff, but as soon as I brought out a BCI Defense Professional Series rifle with a torrent sound suppressor, he started getting a little bit hinky. So I've got to do this quick before he gets nervous and takes off. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Um, test this Premier body armor. And it came in, I'm going to say six or eight months ago, but it was right before some bad weather started, then we had some health problems, and then hunting season came upon us, and the weather compounded, and for whatever reason, I'm finally getting to it. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier. This stuff is really, really cool. And I'm a complete layman when it comes to, to body armor, so I don't even speak, I'm sure, the same language that people in that industry speak. But I'm going to do my best. So we all know what body armor is, and we all understand what it does or what it's supposed to do and why people have it. But a lot of the specifics get lost to me. When people start talking about different classifications and the NIJ numbers and things like that, my eyes will glaze over and I'm apt to fall asleep. I think this stuff is really cool, and I'm going to explain it to you in plain English like I can understand. So when I think of body armor, especially steel plates, I think of several things and none of them are advantageous. None of, none of them make me want to go out and buy a set to wear around the house on a daily basis. Uh, and I don't think I'm alone there. You think heavy, you think bulky, you think uncomfortable, and you think expensive. And the thing that I found so cool about the Premier Body Armor is it goes against all of those things that I thought I understood and understood well about this stuff. Come to find out, I didn't know anything about what was happening with current hard body armor on the market. So one thing I always thought about, about body armor, about solid plates, were that it was going to be thick and heavy. Um, I thought that that was just a give me. The Premier body armor is only five millimeters thick. Five millimeters, now think about that. If you see things better, uh, or if you learn better visually than, than just talking about numbers, and you don't have a, uh, a ruler or a set of uh, calipers in front of you, but you want something to compare it to, look at one round of 5.56 ammunition. 5.56 millimeters in diameter. This stuff is thinner than that little 5.56 projectile. An extreme amount of weight is another thing that's always come to mind with me with, uh, with, with hard body armor. These plates weigh less than seven pounds, 6.4 pounds for these things. So that's got two of the, the theories I thought I understood completely blown out of the water already. It's only five millimeters thick and it's under seven pounds, 6.4 pounds. So if you're like I am, you're thinking if they're not really heavy and they're not really thick, well that's cool. Anybody could tape a phone book on them and call it body armor and uh, they're just not going to get the same performance that they're going to get with thicker, heavier stuff. No way. This stuff, even these thin plates, perform like crazy. These things are special threat tested at these calibers at a distance of 50 feet. 5.56 by 45 or 223 up to 3100 feet per second. 7.62 by 39, 123 grain stuff, uh, the PS ball. And 7.62 by 51 or 308, 147 grain uh, full metal jacket, the M80 ammunition, uh, up to 2850 feet per second. So as you can see, these things are performing like much bigger plates without that weight and without that thickness and without that bulkiness. And talking about bulkiness, there's something else cool that these things do that some of the ones I've seen in the past have not. And that is that they are multi-curved. They're not flat plates, again like some of the ones that I've seen out there, especially the ones that are a little more reasonable in price. They're not flat, they're not just curved, just one curve. They're, they actually fold around you. Uh, so it's, it's much more comfortable than I ever thought it would be. It's much thinner, so it's nowhere near as bulky as offerings that I've seen in the past. And it's way, way lighter than some of the other ones that I've used. So you get all of those benefits, and it still has the performance that you want. The reason that you buy one of these things in the first place. You, you don't want to cover yourself in newspaper just to say you have body armor on. If you're wearing body armor, you want the performance of body armor. And fortunately, 
you're going to get that performance with the Premier. Now I know I said in the beginning that the NIJ numbers and the specifications don't tell me a lot, and, and they don't because body armor studying it is not my thing. But I know that they're all important, so I'll have all of those in the description below the video. So if you're actually watching this and saying, okay, that's a good knuckle-dragging review, but I'd really like to know more about it, I'll put some links uh, and the specifications below this video in the description. So I've got a few plates to test. I'm going to attach them to RD here and uh, I want to see what some of these rounds do. I'm mostly interested in the 5.56. Five, that's, what, that, that's what I've seen tested in the past, so that's what I want to see uh, today. And, uh, and I'm going to invite you along to do that with me. As far as testing the anti-spalling, uh, I'm going to, I guess I'll put some things around it so we can see if it's flying away in what direction and what it does. And we'll see, we'll see very clear here because there is nothing in this area. And, uh, you know, so it'll, it'll be obvious if there is anything, any fragmentation that's going up into that area while we're shooting. Let's get on the trigger a little bit. Now, Premier offers these nice plate carriers like you saw on here uh, in the beginning, but I don't want to shoot that all up and destroy it today because the, the fragmentation will uh, ruin over a few rounds uh, the plate carriers, and uh, it's a little bit too early to do that. So I'm going to attach some of these test plates with some duct tape, and then we can see how it performs today. I don't really expect this duct tape is going to hold very long um, and that it's going to get cut, but what I'm most interested in for starters is to see what type of effect the, uh, the ammunition has on the plates itself, and it's not going to take that many rounds before I can start to get an idea. Of course, I'm very familiar with Murphy's Law and how he works with us out here. It's starting to rain. If it doesn't rain too much, so it's going to interfere with the electronics, I've got a few things that I want to try today. But because we don't know what's going to happen in a few minutes, let's at least get a few rounds downrange and take a look at the impact that it has uh, on the Premier Body Armor plates. Now I'm intentionally putting several rounds in one spot because if we're going to see any type of failure, I can't think of a better way to find it. I think that was five rounds in one spot. I'm gonna to move to another spot and uh, kind of paint them around the plate a little bit more. and we knew that tape was only gonna last so long. Let's take a peek. So it doesn't look like the rain is gonna play well with us. Um, imagine that, Murphy's Law, right? But in these first few rounds, we did get some information that I'm excited to share. Now, on the plate, this is where the majority of the rounds were going, uh, and, it, and it removed the anti-spalling in this little spot. Uh, as I was looking through the scope, aiming at different spots, I wasn't noticing any hits. Well, when you peel back the anti-spalling, uh, it's very noticeable. You can see the other hits. It just wasn't completely removing them like in the area that I was concentrating most of the shots. Now looking at my friend RD downrange, there also wasn't any fragmentation. Nothing on the chest, nothing on the neck. I was really glad to see that. What I did notice was like a black line. This black line across his chest coincided with the spot that the top of the plate was. And what was happening is as the excess gas was coming out from behind this, as a round would go through it, and the gas would then be behind it, it was coming out the top right along the edge of this plate. But it's uh, like a dark, I don't know, it looks like a, a smoke or something like that. And, uh, and there was nothing, uh, nothing you could feel, no jacket or, uh, or particles or anything like that there, just where the gas was escaping. I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, as you saw, we had multiple hits in this one area, and when you peel the covering off like we did, it's, it's very clear. We had five shots that were in this area a little bit larger than a quarter, 
uh, with four of them, uh, the impact area is all touching. And uh, the gas has made some really neat design on the plate. So there's no confusion whatsoever where each of them hit. And I still don't feel any, any bowing, uh, any movement on the back of the plate. Um, you can feel on the face. I mean, you can see these little divots and I can feel those, um, but no significant amount of material has been pushed or moved anywhere. And now the wind is coming up with the rest of it. So I can see the writing. Uh, evidently it's not going to be good shooting video today, but I'm kind of excited about what we're seeing so far. And I'm also excited about starting a conversation using this as a foundation. What do you have for questions? What can I help to answer? What type of data can I help to collect that, that would answer some questions you would have about hard body armor? Are there rounds that you want me to try? Are there specific distances that you would like me to try? Uh, educate me, uh, because that's what we do. We share information. It's not going one way by any means. I learn as much as I put out there, and, and quite often much, much more. So I hope you enjoyed this short preview of the Premier Body Armor products. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already, both on YouTube and on full30.com, especially you know, with the unknown around what's going on with the gun channels on YouTube. I want to make sure we can stay in touch. Make sure that you click notify so you know when we upload a new link. I'd encourage you to take a peek at our Patreon page. Um, it, it's, it's really the patrons because of everything that social media has done to destroy uh, what little opportunity we had to, to pay the expenses for doing these things. Uh, they've, they've, you know, they've completely ruined it. And the, uh, the patrons have really, have really come to the front. And uh, it, it's really humbling, man. I can't, uh, I can't tell you how important it is that people care as much about learning this stuff uh, as I do sharing it. So uh, Patreon, it's a fantastic site and it lets you participate more. We have some really neat things that are going on and uh, we're adding to them. So uh, I don't know, I'm an old dude, but I'm learning, I'm doing my best. You can follow us on Instagram and you can follow us over on Facebook. More important than follow us, uh, participate in the dialogue because man, there are discussions going on there all the time. That's facebook.com slash gun test vids. Till next time, have fun and be safe. Thank you.